Eloise hated and adored her scuba gear in equal measure. On the deck of the Aphrodite, she stripped it away like the plating of an exoskeleton. Her monocular face mask, her breathing apparatus, and the sticky second skin of her wetsuit. Sunset stained the sky, reflected in choppy shards across the surface of the ocean. There would be no more diving today. The ship was chugging toward shore. With a frown, Eloise stowed her gear below deck. The metamorphosis was complete. She had devolved once more from a splendid aquatic life form into a boring land mammal. On the one hand, her scuba equipment was a remarkable gift, a marvel of science allowing her to spend hours in the belly of the sea, moving in three dimensions and carrying a mini atmosphere on her back. On the other hand, she suffered withdrawal at the end of every single dive. Her co-workers knew not to talk to her for the duration of the voyage back to shore. She needed that time to mourn, to accept the burden of gravity once more. Back in her hotel room, she showered the salt off her skin. The evening air was filled with the roar of waves, the ocean breaking against the beach on the other side of the trees. Eloise wove her hair into a frowsy braid. Daily immersion in seawater had changed its consistency from limp ash blonde to spongy copper. Voices and laughter carried on the breeze from the hotel bar. Stefan and the others gathered there most nights to blow off steam and trade shark stories. Eloise rarely joined them, though her fish tail could have topped them all. She slipped a hand under her t-shirt and ran her fingers along the elaborate scar on the right side of her rib cage the precise imprint of a tiger shark bite. 467 stitches, a mottled red ribbon of teeth marks, her torso no longer smooth, but topographical, her belly button torn away. On the nightstand, her cell phone lit up and buzzed. Eloise picked it up, observing that she had missed 34 calls during today's underwater sojourn, all from her brother. There were a few texts, too. Call me back, and later. The 10-year anniversary is next week. Can you please get in touch so we can figure out what we're going to do? And later still, I won't pick a fight, I promise. Finally, you're such a goddamn brat. Eloise considered several replies before turning her phone off and sticking it in a drawer.